It's the year of return, an invitation from West African countries like Senegal and Ghana to Americans of African descent to settle and invest in the continent. When you say the name Nigeria, a lot of things come into your mind. You think of the scammers because a lot of scammers also come in Nigeria, according to World Scamming Index, if we have such a thing. In this city in southwest Nigeria, everyone seems to know someone who scams Americans online. The culture of scamming people, that culture I think is in Nigeria, yes. And they say it is simply because there are no other jobs. When you've tried good, it doesn't work. You have to turn to evil. Chris, that's the name he gave us, says that was his situation. I have three elder siblings and none of them has a job. For five years, he approached American women online. Mostly midnight. Sometimes I, I sleep by 5 a.m. So you'd stay up all night doing this? Yeah, all night. And I have to go to class by 7 a.m. Finally, he convinced a woman from Texas that they were in love. I spend a lot of time talking to her. She, she, she wants attention. People in America want attention. I don't consider myself stupid, but they got me. Laura Francis was 68 when another scammer, later traced to Nigeria, found her. He would send beautiful sayings every morning. Good morning, sweetheart. So happy that I met you. But it was this question that did the trick. Don't you think you're worthy of being loved? Mm -hmm. You know, oh. and my, that's kind of a question I hadn't thought about. Then the scammer began inventing financial emergencies. How much did you end up losing? $248,800. I am so sorry. I'm going to survive. Um, I'm just not going to be able to do what I had planned on doing. For victims, the lesson is clear. Your alarm bell should be ringing when these new relationships, whether romantic or otherwise, start asking you for your hard-earned dollars. Chris got only $20,000 out of his victim, but that is 10 years salary in a country where more than half of the population lives in extreme poverty. So a lot of good things also come from this same Nigerian country. Good things are happening in Nigeria that are not being shown by the media. The media tends to show only the bad things of things, the bad side of things, because things have the bright side and the dark side. So um, we want to talk about Nigeria today and why you, you as an African-American, should visit Nigeria. People are like, oh, go back to Africa. Well, why are we so afraid to leave America? Yeah, you, you don't got to always look, look to the corner all the time. Like, there's like a, a sense of like, I don't know, welcoming that feels really warm, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like everyone looks at you and they're like, you look like me and I look like you and it's okay. Maybe this is home. Maybe this is the land where we come and possess and we make it just like what America was. You guys know that I've been speaking about um, African-Americans moving back to Africa. Uh, Ghana, Ghana is a country which is uh, notorious, the good kind of notorious for this because it was the first to announce African Americans can move here and, you know, um, leave, stay because of the year of return. But there's also another West African country that is also notorious for other reasons. So um, I'm speaking about Nigeria. Nigeria is a country with a population of 250 million people. That is a lot of people inside that country. So including not only the Africans themselves, we also have people outside Nigeria, people outside Africa uh, living in Nigeria, generations in Nigeria. We have Asians living there, we have Europeans, we have Americans, also we have black Americans, but Nigeria is not known to host many black Americans as Ghana. So why is this? I'm thinking Nigeria is a significant country that uh, African Americans should also visit. The reason why I'm saying this is because every black American who does a DNA, they always have some percentage. When they do that DNA, is it called T3? Yeah, I don't know it quite exactly. But once they do the T3 thing, they always get uh, some percentage. Actually, a good number comes from Nigeria. We are speaking of Dr. Pastor or Bishop T.D. Jakes. We are speaking of Drake. We are speaking of... Um, these people who are African Americans and are prominent, they have their DNA there. Chances are that even you as a black American who is watching this video, when you go and do your DNA test, the percentage are that 
we'll have uh, a sample of Nigerian DNA and Nigerian ancestry. Because one thing people don't understand, slaves were being taken in many parts of Africa. It was not only Nigeria, it was not only Ghana, different parts of Africa. Ghana was just the place where the collecting place, the stage where you gather and then you put together ready for shipping. So the product was the Africans. So I met this Nigerian back in town, Nairobi city. Uh, I, I just couldn't help but try and have an interview with him. So the good brother was very nice. He's actually a pastor. He was really good to me and he allowed me to have an interview with him where he shared a lot about Nigeria. See, he shared so much, so much. So um, let's dive in and get to see what brother has to share with us. So let's move on. Nigeria. And a brother Proudly Nigeria. Kenya. Proudly Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not every day I get Nigerian. Oh it's yeah, true. true. Like, man, you're so true. far. You're coming from so far. Yes, yes. It takes you about um, four and a half hours to fly from Nigeria to Kenya. Ha. Huh. Yes. How long does it take to fly from Kenya to Kenya? Um, a few minutes is a matter to <laughs> from your residential area to the CBD. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yes. brother, I'm Evans, by the way. Yes, Evans. So, what's your name, bro? Yeah, I'm Emmanuel Adimora. I'm Nigerian, yes. Nigerian. Yes. Brother? I am Evans Triola. Yes. I'm Kenyan. Kenyan. Wow, thank you so much. So, uh, brother, yes. do you understand that African Americans are leaving USA and they're moving to Africa? Yes, I mean, um, if, if, you, if you watch, if you keep abreast with the news, you realize that um, there's a lot of people wanting to leave, um, you know, the comfort yes. of the United States and most of the Western countries to now come down to Africa. Yes, yes. I'm aware of that. Wow. Yes. And how about you, bro? I, I'm greatly aware of this. And the black Americans yes. are trying to uh, find their roots back to the motherland yes. and find their ancestry. So they are coming back to the I, motherland. I think it, it, it has to do a lot with nature. Yes. You see, no matter how long, you know, imagine that someone gives birth to a child, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, probably the child does not meet the father. Yeah. After a while, there is this, you know, desire in you to yes. want to find your father. Yeah. And you want to pay any price, you yes. know, it takes to be able to find. So it's like wanting to go back to your roots, yes. Yes. you know, yes. it's nature, it's natural. And then, you know, yes. we really support what most of the African American, I'm a pastor. And I can tell you that people like Bishop T.D. Jakes, yes, if yes. you know about Bishop T.D. Jakes, I, we know him. most we of know those him guys back. have <laughs> traced their roots back, back to Nigeria. Yes. T.D. Jakes traced his roots back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of that going on and we really, really need to support our brothers. We're not asking you to leave America and no. come live here permanently. Yeah, yes. But there's nothing wrong with you wanting to come and reconnect yes, yes. with where you're coming from, reconnect with you know, your motherland, reconnect yes. with your brothers. <laughs> Yes. and sisters that you left many many years ago so it's nature yes. and it should be welcome and encouraged and how about you bro um it's something that um we as um the, the native here in africa is nigerian yes i'm kenyan yes. we are pushing for we want um for people um african americans yes. in the u.s to trace their ancestry yes. to know where they came from to mm. know their tribe yeah uh, probably their local language yes and um just to come back to the motherland i understand the yeah, the food. Uh, jollof. You understand jollof yes. in Nigeria? We let's have, not we let's have not ugali. go into the <laughs> controversy of jollof. Yeah, we have we have um, the ugali here. Yes, it's the nice cuisines correct. here in Africa. Mm, but correct. also, there's one thing that I tend to push a lot. Mm. Uh, um, you understand in the US, um, yes. in a way, the African Americans yes. are sidelined because of their color. Yes. Imagine coming back to the motherland yes. where everyone looks like you. Exactly. Yeah. You're not sidelined in any way. Exactly. So this, the, the perfect place you yes. guys can come to. Imagine a black American investing back in Nigeria. The local, the locals shall have gotten opportunities. No, several, several, Same to Kenya. Several business people have come all the way from the West into Africa. And they have done very well. Mm -hmm. And most times they don't even want to go back. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's a lot of market here. You know, I, I don't I don't think that it is something that is uh, should should sound strange to us, mm. because remember these guys are also trying to identify with culture, mm. right? They you know the dressing, mm -hmm. you know, so they, they they watch the videos, they they, they look at the um, documentaries, and they also want to come and identify. I mean, look at the skin color; yes. they want to come back and identify with the culture, the dressing, and yes. all of that, yes. and meet new friends. So, yes. I mean, let's use the media and make noise. 
and ask more African Americans to please to come, come to Kenya, yes. come to Nigeria, like yes. he said, yes. come and invest. Yes. They are lovely people. Yes. We are not we are not being racial here, yes. right? It's not about being racial, whether yes. you have to deal with a black or deal with a white. I don't see color when I relate with people. I've got lots of friends who are whites, yes. Indians, yes. and all that. Yes. So it's not about being racial, but it's about trying to reconnect yes. with your roots. Yes trying to reconnect with motherland uh, and there's nothing as beautiful as okay, trying to okay. do that. I have a question for you. Yes. Some African Americans yes. or rather black Americans yes. don't want to be called African Americans. No, no, no. They don't want to be called black Americans. They That's what I know. African Americans. No, but I, I, I don't think they have a, an issue. I don't know. Maybe okay, you, okay. you are telling me. Why do you but I know they don't like being called black Americans. And why, why do you think that's so? They're black men. Well, you know, many times black is not Black is associated with, you know, certain uh, mindsets and certain things. I'm not particularly, maybe I need to do my research yes, yes. as to why they don't want to be called Black Americans. Yes. I'm sure they have reasons for that. Maybe we just need to do more research yes. on that. Yes. But what is most important is that whether you're called Black or not, you're Black. Yeah, That's sure. the truth. And you need to be proud yes. of your skin color. Yes. Black is beautiful. Yes. You know, black is wonderful. Black is awesome. Yes. You know, you yes. must not let anybody define who you are. You must be able to define, you must be able to tell people who you are yes. by your lifestyle, your words, your culture, yes. and what you believe. So it's not about the mindset. Let's believe in ourselves. Whether you're black, yes. whether you're white, you are great. You are born in the image of God and you're very special. Yes. <laughs> That's very powerful. So, brother, why do you think they don't want, they don't want to be called Black Americans? I mean, it's difficult for me to speak after our pastor, <laughs> friend from Nigeria, has spoken. He's given yeah. it um, a lot made, of yeah. information. Give your point. Black is so beautiful, it man. It is beautiful. Melanin is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So, there's no way we, we can stay away from, from being black. That's something right. that we should instead of. be proud of. Yeah? That's right. And um, that is for black americans yes yeah. oh. well i think we just need to welcome them you yeah. know guys yeah. come back come home. back to the motherland you know come and um stay come and eat the food <laughs> come and wear the clothes yeah. look at kenya look at how beautiful it is yeah. you know the weather is amazing yeah. you know you know so just contact these guys and find out you don't want to do a tour yeah. you want to come for a few days yeah. you just want to come and hang out yeah. you want to come and meet with people yeah. Link up with these guys. Go on there on, on, on the link there and find out how you can do that. And you'll be very welcome in Africa. Yes, yes. And I need to also address one more thing. Uh -huh. Many people think Africa is not secure. Mm. That, mm. That's a very crazy yeah. mindset. No, 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 no. Africa is one of the most, I mean, look at Kenya, yeah. one of the most secured places in the world. Yeah. Maybe even more secured mm. than most of these countries. And I don't want yeah. to mention any name. Uh -huh. You know, there's too much peace. There's nobody shooting anybody yeah. on the streets. Yeah. You know, nobody shooting people in schools. Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Lovely people. So don't be afraid of security. Yeah. There's too much security. Thank God for the president yeah. of Kenya who has done so much, yeah. you know, and uh, you're very welcome to come to Africa. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't go. <laughs> <laughs> we would always do more interviews yeah, after sure, today, sure, you know. Sure. Okay. So um, uh, another question is yes. Uh, how different do you think uh, is Nigeria yes. from Kenya as somebody who has visited both? No, no, a lot of differences. Yes. A lot of differences. Um, if you start with the weather, Kenya is colder mm -hmm. than Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is quite hot. Mm -hmm. You know, it only gets raining and it cools down a bit. But Kenya is lovely. It's, mm -hmm. it's cold. Um, the people of Kenya are very... Uh, welcoming. Very welcoming. Very, <laughs> very mild. Yes. You know, maybe not as... Um, I'm trying to use the right words. Yeah. They're very, very calm people. Yeah. You know, Nigerians are also very calm, you know, but sometimes, you know, we can be very, you know, you know how it is. Yeah. You see, um, you know, but um, Kenya has its own strengths. Yeah. Nigeria has its own strengths. What I believe is that we must all learn to come together, yeah. right? And complement one another. Yeah. We don't need to compete. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, there's a lot that, mm. You, you you know as a Kenyan that I don't yeah, know yeah. that I can learn from you. Yeah. There's a lot you have yes. that I can benefit from. Yes. There's also a lot I have yes. that you can benefit from. Yes, yes. So let's just find each other's 
areas of strength yes. and let's tap into it. Yes. Let's let's combine and learn from each other yes. and we can make the world yes. a better place. Um, so myself I should say what how special do you think Kenya is uh, and would be for the African Americans? Um, Kenya Kenya or is for an the African diaspora because we have other Africans in the Caribbean. We have Africans in yeah, India everywhere. South America That's and right. India. That's but right. now they are returning back home as brother yeah. said. So what is your message? Like do you think Kenya is conducive for them? I, I think I think Kenya is a very conducive country. Yes. As he said, yes. um, the security is amazing. Yes it is. There's no gun violence no, no. around the streets. Yes. We have beautiful people, right. loving people. Yes. We have nice a lot hotels. of yeah, nice hotels. If you want the high-end hotel, we yeah. also have them. Have you, have you visited Kempinski? Oh yes, I've been to Kempinski. It's one of the best. Yeah. <laughs> you, you understand? Yeah. You understand anything that you have in the West? Yes. We have them here in Kenya. You see, many a times people think that Africa is a jungle that you meet lions around. That's right. I mean, this Nairobi, it's so That's so right. beautiful That's right. with nice skyscrapers, right. opportunities. Mm -hmm. You all can move and work here in Kenya. Yeah, you it's, can conducive for you all and yes. we are welcoming you yes. as the natives we want to tell you that kenya is open the other the other day our president said that, that uh, the remains of the first human beings were found here in kenya Ooh. and he said um, that from december where moving nigeria forward came from, where kenya came you came, I don't you came know from about that. <laughs> yeah yeah human beings <laughs> really? dated first here in kenya oh, well, yes, yes, yes. we dated first here in kenya okay. so he said you do not need a passport or a visa, yeah. a visa stamp for get you to go home. home. Yeah. Let, let me even so let me we are even, open. Let man. me even use this time to right. commend the president mm. of Kenya yeah, sure. for creating um, a wonderful atmosphere for visitors mm -hmm. and for foreigners. Mm. You know, because many times there are countries you go to and yes you're not from that country, but you don't feel so comfortable. Yeah, sure. But Kenya is different. And I'm not I can say it anywhere. Mm. Kenya is Kenyans are lovely. You know, you're being protected, yes. you know, people love you. People don't treat you like a stranger. Mm. You know, there's not this, oh, he's Nigerian. No, no, no. People <laughs> love you. People open their homes for you. Mm -hmm. People give you whatever they can give to you. Yes. So I really want to commend the president for a job well done. Yes, there are, there are still areas of improvement, yeah, sure, sure. but he's got many, he's got like three more years or so, or four yeah, years. Yes. So he still has a lot of time on his side. Yes. Let's un encourage him as Kenyans. Yes. Let's support him yes. so that he can be able to do better. His failure is our failure. Mm. His success is our, is our success. Yeah, sure, sure. You know, we don't have another Kenyan. Yeah. I don't have another Nigerian. Yeah. So, the, you know, the Bible always say, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, yes. because in its peace, you will find your own peace. Mm. So I'm going to say the same thing to Kenyans. Pray for the peace of Kenya. Yes. Pray for the prosperity of Kenya. Yes. Because if there's peace yes. and there's prosperity in Kenya, yes. it will get to your home. You know, in spite of whoever is the president of the country. Yes. This is not being politically correct, but this is me saying, let us build a beautiful Kenya. Kenyans, you guys should know that the world is watching. Nigerians are looking up to you. There's a lot that we're learning from you. Don't let us down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, 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 uh, the you, your final message to the African Americans who are moving to Africa, let's say even Nigeria. Come back home, brothers and sisters. Yes. We are waiting for you. Yes. Um, we are missing you, guys. And we also want to interact with you. Yes. We want to be able to learn from you. Yes. We also want to be able to teach you a few things. Yes. Um, we want to reconnect, you know, yes. um, you know that um, feeling of, yes. you know, maybe a brother yes. who you have not seen for many years yes. and you suddenly meet them. Yes. So we love you guys yes. and look, the platforms are created, the links are there, the world has become a social, uh, 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 yes. the world has become like a, a, a global village, yes. you know, so contact, yes. you know, using all the links that you have and I can assure you, you will be welcome in Africa. You know, I was planning to move to Ghana, but now I'm changing my mind to what? Nigeria. <laughs> Actually, you have, you have represented Nigeria really well. I've tried. You've tried. I've tried. And um, yes. I, I, you've actually challenged us as Kenyans. Yes, yes. So that one day if we move, if we move outside Kenya, yeah. we can actually you convince have, people. Yes, and then you now have a brother is, uh, who is yeah. going to so receive you. do you yeah. think Nigerians will accept African Americans? Oh yeah, we do have a lot of African Americans coming. Yes. See, typically, like I said to you, Nigerians are very loving people. 
it's not even about where you're coming from it's our nature yeah. right so whether you're african-american whether you're european or asian yeah, yeah, or whatever whichever person. we love people so yes, yes. african-americans yeah. are African welcome to nigeria yes Everyone. if you trace your roots and your root Madibani. is linking you to my village uh, come <laughs> i will give you a house and i'll give you a land you god bless it. you you, you it. thank you so much bro thank you